Hello everyone, it's Christine here and I'm back for our stitch along and we are going to do double feather stitch today. So variation on feather stitch. And I've drawn myself three parallel lines on this side. Um, slightly difficult because I'm going to be doing it down over these little um, feathery ruffly bits. So we're going to pop out um, at the left hand side at the top of our parallel lines. We're going to go equally um, opposite over and then we'll come out in the middle of that um, set of parallel lines to make our first Y shape. What we're then going to do is pop over um, to the middle of this parallel line um, directly opposite where the bottom of that Y is. And we're going to take ourselves um, down to the middle line at a sort of equal distance so that we come out on an angle. And we're always keeping the thread under the tip of the needle so we get our little, little loop. And then we're going to come equally distance over um, to here and we're going to pop our needle out halfway between those two parallel lines. So that's going to give us three stitches down and then we're going to take our needle in from the middle of the first two parallel lines equally across from the bottom of that Y and take it over to the middle. Oops. And I need to flip my thread over so that it stays under the tip of the needle. And then we are going to um, go over to equal distance to the outer parallel line and angle our needle halfway down and across um, that first set of parallel lines. Oops, and we need to make sure we are going to catch the loop because I didn't put the thread under my needle, but I can catch it like that. So there we go, we have done that one. And then we're going to start um, moving back again. So we've got that stitch that sits across the first of the two parallel lines. And then we're going to come over um, equal distance across and in the middle of those parallel lines, take it down to the middle. Like that. And then we are going to come over um, And so we're always doing um, two stitches to the left and two stitches to the right. So then I'll come equally across and do another stitch here, angling down. And then I will come across this way and do a stitch from the middle there, angling down this way. And then come across and do a stitch angling down this way. Oops, so make sure I'm catching. And then come across this way and do a stitch angling down this way. Oops, don't pull it too tight. And come across here and do a stitch that angles down this way. And then flip it over and come back, come across and angle it down to the center. Like that. Got a bit of fluff in the way, but we can position it. And then coming across from here and doing a stitch that angles down to the center down here. And then we work back the other way from the center here. Always making sure our thread is underneath so we get our little loop coming across from there and angling down to the center of those two parallel lines. And then we come back the other way. 
come across. And I'm almost out of thread, so I think this might be the last of my, my stitches. And so that is our um, double feather stitch, which almost looks like triple feather stitch to me, but that's what the book calls um, double. But we'll do um, triple stitch, which will actually give us, yeah, essentially what look almost like four loops, um, which we'll do tomorrow, and we'll do that down that side. Um, which will require four um, lines to be drawn on your on your fabric. Um, I'll see if I can squeeze any more in myself um, down here off camera, but hopefully that's given you a good sense of how to do um, double feather stitch, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and speak to you soon. Bye.